All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, or Kakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, and great men's stone, pushing his word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim scattered through the four corners of the globe, pushing his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, pushing his word truthfully and sincerely. And this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars, seeing that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Luke 21 and 9. When ye hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not yet. And by this, this news article that I'm about to bring out from uh, RT.com. And with the continued uh, escalation going on with the United States and uh, Iran, I believe this is about a day or two ago. Especially, uh, I believe that happened, this uh, happened about two, I'd say about a month or two ago. About, uh, you know, because you, uh, you know, you had the United States. Uh, uh, stationed over there in uh, Iraq. You know, they uh, got hit by uh, military fire over there. And this is a news article that I'm reading, you know. So I guess this is a response to that. And it says, uh, the United States uh, announced new Iran sanctions. It says, Washington blames Tyran for missile strikes in Saudi Arabia and Iraq. And, uh, yeah, the reason why it's in Saudi Arabia because you got that tension still going on over there with the uh, Houthi rebels, which is a Iran backed group. And then, you know, uh, the two months ago, like I mentioned before, you know, you got the United States stationed over there in Iraq. And I believe it's some parts over there in the Iraq, I can't pronounce the name, it started with an E. E or I or something like that, I believe. And then, you know, they got uh, hit with a uh, rocket fire or something like that. You know, and almost hit the uh, base station over there, which is uh, located over there in Iraq. So, you know, that's why the United States is putting all these uh, sanctions on Iraq. I mean, on Iran and Slovakia. Because, you, know, uh, you know, for the past almost a year or so, you know, they've been having that uh, agreement with the 2015 nuclear revival of the 2015 nuclear uh, deal, but you know, this might bring a, a continual momentary pause on that. So yeah, and I'm going to uh, read this news article. It says uh, that the United States has imposed new sanctions on Iran and its ballistic missile program, which they start starting to uh, create the uranium I believe it's like 60 to like 70 percent of the uranium of the uh, missiles defense system over there in Iran so even if they did came with the revival and show some progress on the 2015 nuclear deal but well, it still shows Iran is still going to uh, you know create their nuclear capability and still as it is today you know and it says uh, I'm going to read it again for application sake it says the U.S. has imposed new sanctions on Iran and its ballistic missile program, saying the move is in response to the strikes of a, I can't pronounce that word, but it's a E R P I L Iran early this month. Oh, okay, so it was earlier this month, rather than two months ago, okay, so it was recently. It says, as well as the attacks carried out by the Yemen, Houthis, which is an Iran back group, is allied with the Iranians uh, to have been unable to Tehran. It says the Treasury Defense announced on uh, right, the Treasury Department announced the uh, penalties on Wednesday targeting Iranian uh, pro procurement agent Muhammad Ali Hassan and a network of uh, companies said to be involved in a supply pro uh, related materials to the 
Islamic Revolution Guard Corps, which is the IRGC. It says, today's actions followed by the Iran missile attack on Europa, Iraq, on March the 13th, and the Iranian enabled Houthi missile attack against a Saudi armed coal facility on March 25th, and the department says, claiming Tehran's missile program poses a serious threat to the international security while pointing to others attacked by alleged Iranian proxies in Saudi Arabia's and the United Emirates, Emirates right? Because you know that goes into um, those uh, recent attacks they had over there in uh, Iran, like the southern part over there, and then it was followed by, got close to over there in the United Emirates, United Emirates as well too, so you know. So, you know, that goes into the, uh, the increase of the uh, wars and rumors of wars, you know. Doesn't mean, doesn't matter how many tre peace treaties that they have with each other or ceasefires, but it's going to continue, uh, continue to escalate once those uh, ceasefires end, you know. Because, you know, we are living in a time of uh, nations to rise against nations and the kingdom against kingdoms as well, too. So with that, uh, I hope this quick sit down lesson was edifying in the news of this news article that I brought out from RT.com, uh, which was published on October 31st, 2022, on this uh, Thursday afternoon. So yeah, it's going to be an increase of uh, wars and rumors of wars in the last days, you know. So with that, I hope this quick uh, sit down lesson was edifying. Good on the spirit, power, rest, and mercy of Yahweh Yahushua. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory now to to Yahweh Bashir, Yahweh Shah, Bashir, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great wisdom, Krishna's word, truth and sincerely. And shout out to the octaves scattered through the four corners of the globe, Krishna's word, truth and sincerely. And shout out to the octaves that be like unto the speckled bird, Krishna's word, truth and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shout out.